this is just one of my observations on the shooting in Las Vegas just a day and a half ago um, there's a glass pyramid here there's the Mandalay Hotel and other things in front of it that are Illuminati there's the hotel and the obelisk for the Egyptian uh, show and statue which is just behind it which is on Google Earth um, no private individual would deliberately choose a situation like that and all the, all the newspapers the news mainstream media is saying look they're quoting Sandy Hook again which is 1000% fake and here's the other areas too on Google Earth there's the pyramid there's the Mandalay Hotel and here it is on Google Earth so if you look at this here there's the pyramid but interestingly look, look what's right in front of it the famous trademark of the Vatican the obelisk the Illuminati fancy picking a spot like this there you go there it is the pyramid right behind it most people know this but for this to actually take place right there in that situation <clears throat> and here's another thing how can you prove what went on in that room we've even seen at the marathon bombing <coughs> in the states where the parents said they were phoned they phoned the parents up earlier to say they'd been stitched up by the CIA and by the American government to take part in something that turned out to be their death and being shot for which they genuinely didn't expect would happen they were thought they were taking part in an exercise what's to say this chap here his room bust in they place guns inside they shoot people from the window and then they shoot him and pretend that he's committed suicide okay so well, this is conjecture by me but how many times have we seen that it's proven afterwards that that is what took place many many times great place for a ritualistic sacrifice for a shooter or for some organization to create a false flag to get away scot-free from the hotel room that nobody would know or suspect incidentally there were people in the audience shouting you're all gonna die tonight so something was organized about it besides an individual in a hotel bedroom shooting across to people at a concert people were saying you're gonna die tonight that would have nothing to do with that man as a lone shooter impossible and here it is Las Vegas shooting woman told crowd you're all gonna effing die before the attack started 45 minutes before the shooting started and this lady that's she's a witness to what was said lady who pushed her way forward into the concert venue into the first row and she started messing with another lady and told us that we are all going to die tonight do you know why she was saying that? I mean, was this after uh, the shots were fired or? It was about 45 minutes before the shots were actually fired. There you go, 45 minutes before the shots were fired. That could not have anything to do with the shooter that was in the hotel. But it could have something to do with the people that organized the shootout. This is who declaimed the shooter as Stephen Paddock a photo provided by his brother Eric Paddock this is what his brother said about him Eric Paddock said that his brother Stephen was not an avid gun guy at all the fact that he had those kind of weapons is just and listen to this where the hell did he get automatic weapons I believe he was set up and used as a scapegoat for a false flag <laughs> 